All right, so here we are. This is um, episode 15. I have a, on the banner there is a season opener, but I, I've actually gotten a little far into the season, about three or four games. I, uh, I recorded a video for the season opener, but quite frankly, it was boring. Um, <laughs> I watched it back and didn't like it. It was a one to nothing pedestrian uh, easy win, and it really was just kind of dull. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to throw that one in the digital garbage and I'm gonna do another one. So I got I played a few more matches, and what I've kind of realized is that this team, uh, the way I have to kind of win, is I have to grind out results. Um, as you can tell, you know, one zero, two zero, two zero, one zero, and that's really just kind of how this team wins. Where I don't have a very dynamic front five, and that's that's just who we are. So. Um, so these games are not going to be super exciting, probably. I but I you know obviously I, I, things have been going pretty well. I've hit some fixture congestion, as you can kind of tell there. So starting really with that September third game against Mount St. Mary's, I got the win. Then had to turn around and play a midweek game, and I won that one. But then I had to play Penn State, so I had to try and arrange my lineups so that my first team were playing in that Penn State and that Ohio State game because those were conference games. Those are games that I, I, you know, really want to prioritize, and so we. But problem there too is that I had Penn State on September the tenth, then turn around two days later, and I'm playing Monmouth, and then two days later I've got Ohio State. So Ohio State, by the way, is is pretty. It was one of the better teams. So um, so I, that Monmouth match, I really I was playing my second team, my my what I call my second eleven. And even, I also kind of put brought in some of these guys who normally aren't in the 23 at all. Um, I can, <clears throat> which of course, College Soccer Refresher, for those of you who maybe just picked up on this video, uh, in College Soccer you get 23 on the bench and you really have as many subs as you want. Um, you can't really recreate that in FM, so I just have all subs allowed. So, um, so... That Monmouth match, I'm playing a bunch of guys who are out of shape and who are not great, and so we did have to settle for a 1-1 draw, but I kind of accepted that going in, that I might be fortunate to get a result there. So, And even still, because we get ready to play Ohio State, my guys aren't, this is it's mostly first team. I, I think this is, yeah, all those guys are my first team players, except my left back. Brian's not ready to come in yet. He's at 91%, so I tried to get his you know balance the quality with with being whatever fresh ready to play um and so i feel like i'm pretty well set um so yeah let's uh go ahead and dive in and during the match we'll kind of talk about where we've left off <clears throat> all right so this is my second Big Ten match of the year. As you saw, I did defeat Penn State, so I have one and zero in the conference. Um, I, the higher in the conference I finish, the better chance I have of qualifying for the NCAA tournament. So, um, so I put priority on these matches. Uh, uh, Sorry, that was a question. I don't remember having answered before, so I didn't have an automatic response. Uh, obviously, I'm in all green, and Ohio State is in all white. And so, obviously, last the last episode that you would have seen would have been the national when I won the national championship, the 2021 national title, defeated uh, Central Arkansas. I think it was in the final one two to one. It was in overtime. Um, and so really did not add much to the of course a player gets a yellow card right at the beginning uh didn't add much to the squad i had uh signed already signed a lot of younger players to the team so i my team was already pretty young i, I did lose some guys who are and by lose i mean they became too old um College soccer, obviously, you know, players graduate and you have they become seniors and then they they graduate and go on into real life. Um, and so I had some graduate that were some of my better players, 
and I didn't add any because I, I felt good about the young guys that I brought in. But part of the problem there is I still have about six or seven who are still too young. They're under 18, and that's just not – you can't play them. So I'm – in uh, in college sports here in America, we call those – we call freshmen who don't play uh, redshirt. And both of my center mids have yellow cards. Not a great way to start. <clears throat> And college soccer has actually recently got going here in real life in the United States. <clears throat> I follow it a little bit, not as closely as I probably should. Probably the problem is my local team, my local the university closest to me, does not have college soccer. So I don't really have much of a reason. I don't have a team to support. I guess I could just pick a team, but that's never really kind of been my thing. Well, Ohio State's... Oh, this is frustrating. Three yellow cards in the first 15 minutes. Ooh, that was... Yeah, let's get that out of the box, guys. Come on. <laughs> Anywhere will do. So Ohio State is showing... The thing out there is sitting back. I'm going to... Let me go a little more positive. Let's see if we can't push it a little bit. Johnson's cross is blocked, and we'll get a corner here. And we can't win that ball. Yeah, I really feel like, like last year's team was kind of set up perfect. <clears throat> This year, uh, there are some areas where I'm not. I need to be better. Specifically at my six, my defensive midfielder. <clears throat> um, I've got two guys there. Neither of them particularly good. And Ruiz is hurt. Doggone it. <sighs> yeah, it's okay. I'm bringing Dunwell. Yeah, so um, my six, I've got two players, Frank Jones and then Booth. I can't remember his first name. I think it's David Booth. They're about the same guy, and they're really, they're not as, they're not as good as I would like for them to be. Um, they don't tackle as well. I really need a good ball winners there, and they're not, they're not the ideal players for that spot. And then fullback could be better. Really both fullbacks. But my left fullback situation especially. Let's see if we get a good counter here. We've got a good, if you switch it, switch it, switch it. You waited too long. You held it too long more. Mmm. We had a one on the keeper if you hadn't held that. Mmm. Already they go the other way. I'm gonna go back to yeah. They're um. I think what they're doing is they're just hoofing everything forward. You see, their backs are hanging back. But as you can see, they're playing really wide, and their front guys are really aggressive. Probably kind of a counter press team. Six gets a yellow. It's about time they got a yellow. Well, I guess they did have one earlier. I find that at this level, I don't. I really am not. I actually played mostly lower late league in, in FM nineteen, so I don't know how if it's true all the way up, but it feels like referees are really card happy in the lower leagues. And it could be just because the players themselves are clumsier. Mm, done well, you're offside. Yeah. Okay. Pretty even match, but I'm not having much of the ball. Lie to him. Sit down. 
Probably was a hopeful pass there. Alright, Moore's cross, not much there. And Melvin Johnson. Johnson lays it out to Clark. Yeah, my fullbacks, I never really get anything dangerous from them. I, when they get the ball down there, I, I want to cross. At, or, you know, I prefer lower crosses, but I want something. Most of them just, most of their crosses get deflected. Uh, well, this will help us out here. <clears throat> this guy gets sent off. So let's go ahead and try and take advantage of that. More, I'm trying to get him. He is actually really good, so I'm not going to stop him off. But I am going to bring in Booth, my holding mid. That means leave Garza in for now. We'll just let that we'll let Booth be our only. I guess I'll need to tell him he does not have to ease off tackles. At least for now, until he inevitably gets a yellow. Oh, that's a good ball right there. Done well. Finish that, you turd. All right. Good switch. Yeah, let's get it going. Well, lays it back to Clark. Clark's crossing. Right there, Martinez. Martinez actually kind of... Uh, he is dangerous from the 10 spot. Ooh. This is an intense game right here. Not really made many tactical changes. I don't know. I'm not really sure what changes would help. Brooks. More. Ooh. They're packed in pretty well right there. Yeah, let's circulate it. Come on, get to the other side. Switch it. Mm. All right. And there was a ball right there that we had and didn't pass it. Pause it. Let me think about what I want to do here. <clears throat> uh, all right, both my midfielders. Bring in you guys and more, more. It's getting low. And let's bring in a whole front five. Let's just change all that. I'm making some big changes right now. And take off all their ease off tackles. Should get all my yellows off the field, I think. Okay. Let's bring in like what six <laughs> six person six player sub. Uh, let's give him the demand more shout. Come on. Let's get this done. Let's see now okay, we got an offside call there. Look Brian headed it right back to the guy. I don't Long throw, which Brian's pretty good at, and there it is. Goal from Del Campo. I'm a genius. Made all those subs. The fresh legs are gonna make the difference here. It's Del Campo really just kind of a cheeky little finish to the far corner of the net. Alright. Uh, I am going to go ahead and sub in the last two. And I'm not going to change anything tactically yet. At some point, though, they're going to start coming after me to get that goal. And I got to think about going to my shut up shop tactic, which is something I've been working on. 
my Reese. It's getting going the other way. Switch it, switch it. You gotta switch. There we go. Oh, done well. Finish it. There it is. Match. We're done. All three points. But see, and look, these both of these. So that was on a counterattack. That's not really our normal style of play. And the other goal was on a long throw. That's really that's kind of how this team has been winning. That's not how I like to, but you know, you, <laughs> it doesn't really matter how we get it done, right? All right. Um, looks like they're still staying back, so I'm not gonna change anything right now. The throw, Cantu shot over. <clears throat> I do also apologize, my voice. I'm a little um fighting allergies and such. <clears throat> And they're going to try a counter. Can't get there. So this will be, you know, be a good win. I would like to, you know, I mean, I, I like, and really you watch the match and it's, and I'll probably watch a, some highlights after, but it's just not, we're not really, we're not as dynamic as I would like to be. But it's probably the guys that I have. But the, the tactic, our, our strategy, our style of play is is solid enough to where we we stay organized and we don't we don't give too much to the other team until we finally find a way through. Like this is a game I feel like I should have won like four or five to zero. Can't do shot and close, but. kind of feels like I don't know what the right way to it's not exactly like that Chelsea team back in Mourinho's days the first the first go round but pretty similar I guess they won through a lot of well they had pace on the wings and all that but and I don't see in the end the, the, the stats will look better you know we obviously were helped and of course Booth got that yellow card we were obviously helped by them having a player sent off. That's when we, that's when we really started controlling, creating. But you know, we'll take it. Hey, three points. Definitely don't like that possession number, and that my team did not look in the de in the defense. And this is I'm thinking forward. My defensive passing seventy three percent off screen. I would have been probably looking at that. Figured out how that needs to change. Probably would have taken off play out of defense. But that's that's a killer right there. And that came from them pressing me. Those They were obviously pressing us. And the back line didn't handle it well. Um, and it probably made things tougher on the midfield and the attack. So that was something to think about <clears throat> going forward off screen. That's, that's all I, when I'm live comming, I try not to bore everybody with looks at how I... You know, whatever, go and evaluate the analysis during the match. But that's what I would have done. So, um, so yeah, good 2-0 to win. Pleased with the performance. We'll take it. We'll move on. Um, this is Uncle Sam, FM, signing off.